I'm Samantha Lawrence. I'm a PhD student at Purdue University. I did my bachelor's at Colorado School of Mines in Metallurgical and Materials Engineering. And uh, I think I decided that I wanted to go to School of Mines when I was in 10th grade. But I knew that I wanted to work in corrosion well before that. Um, when I was in fifth grade, I had to do a science fair project. And I kind of grew up on a perpetual construction site. My parents built our house. So my very first memory uh, is climbing on scaffolding around our house when we were building it. And when I was in fifth grade, I had to do a science fair project. And I was out one day helping my dad um, build things. And I, I don't know, I was just kind of talking and I asked him why nails turned orange and exposed stud walls. And he said, I think you've got a science fair project. And so I started studying corrosion. I, I thought it was oxidation at the time. I didn't realize that there was a difference between the two. But I learned about it and, uh, and, and it stuck. I've loved corrosion ever since. When I was in, I guess I was, I was still technically in elementary school, um, eighth grade, uh, Dr. Joram Lichtenstein, he was a member of NACE and he told me about it. And, uh, and he said, well, I'll have to see if I can get you some, um, some examples of, of NACE publications and maybe I'll see if I can find out how to get you a student membership in NACE. And he did. <laughs> so I was actually a member of NACE when I was in high school. I had some great mentors along the way. Um, everyone from, from metallurgists at Kennecott Utah Copper, um, which is now owned by Rio Tinto, but the copper mine in Utah, up to people that my mom worked with at Hill Air Force Base. And then I, I finally had one, um, he, uh, Dr. Joram Lichtenstein, he actually did all the cathodic protection for the missile silos at Hill Air Force Base. And uh, he became my mentor and, and told me about uh, galvanic protection and, and impressed current cathodic protection. And, uh, and, and I was hooked and he told me that I could get a degree in corrosion and metallurgy. And so I decided that I would. And ultimately, he was the one that influenced me to want to own my own company someday. And that's a dream that I still foster. Just go for it. If there's something that, that you wonder about, you know, look it up, find out. It's, I guess it's, it's great that we're in this more technological um, era where you can just go Google something and you never know what you might find. I would just encourage um, teachers and parents really to, to, to kind of prod their students, their, their young ones, into um, just looking into some, some scientific question. It really doesn't matter what it is. Um, you know, I mean, anything from, oh, I want to know why a bridge breaks <laughs> to, you know, oh, it would be really interesting to look at why nails turn orange and expose, expose stud walls or, or, you know, biology or um, any kind of engineering and transportation problem. Um, just, to, just to kind of let them experience the, the world of science and, and hopefully that will, uh, you know, kind of something will grab their interest. Thank you.